Zimbabwe can be such a, an inconvenience sometimes. No lies. Like, we're documenting our adventurous trip. How do you feel? I got 99 problems. I don't even know where to start. Yes, yes, yes. We are back on BW. Mm -hmm. Come yeah. on now. Come on. Yeah. It looks so nice. So messy. Very huge too. Um, got them from stairs. And then I got dessert. 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 You guys won't even believe where we're going. But that's a story for another day. Hey Vibers, what I do, what it does. Um, as you can see, I look very crusty. I'm wearing my husband's jacket because my dress is making me feel cold. I'm in the car, it's late. Like, I got 99 problems. I don't even know where to start, right? Where should I start actually? Um, I don't know, man, but Zimbabwe can be such a, an inconvenience sometimes. No lies. Like, Zim is like either super good, super fun, or like super bad, terribly irritating, if that's the word. I don't know. I'm sorry to those who might take offense from this, but I just generally just wanted to vent, yo, and show you guys how life as a foreigner be like. Um, so two or three weeks ago, there was actually like a memo that the borders were opened right so we we're like yay that's nice i had a package from botswana coming into zim child it's still not there because now um the people that i was sending the package with rather the like the runner type thing right they're like no the zim borders are not open so it might take us a longer time i'm just like even for current services, chill. But that's not why I'm here. I'm at the border right now. And like I said, it's really late. It's like to 10 or something. It is cold, okay? Um, some weeks back, Botswana declared that to enter into Botswana, you don't need COVID test, provided that you have um your vaccination cards you've gotten both doses if you you know you were doing like sandovac or whatever needs second doses right is it the same in plum tree huh um uh, like just zim just excludes themselves from all southern african things like you know if it's done in south africa and zim and what it shall not be done in zim anywho so we get to the border post thank god like we get to the border post and they're asking for PCR test because, well, our our vaccination cards are not, what did they say? They're not registered. They're not registered. First of all, how do we know that they're supposed to be registered? Where do we register them? Who told people about this? Because I, for one, I long vaccinated mid last year, but I never heard anything about making sure that our cards are registered. Why are they not even registered, first of all? This is what I was actually asking myself. Because when we're getting vaccinated, it was written on, like, paper only. There was no computer, nyana, to show that, you know, they're inputting it electronically. So, they're like, nah, your vaccination cards have not been registered. And they told us places to register them. So, yeah. We're about to cross over to Botswana. And yeah, I just wanted to say how come like there's always like different information. Like and like apart from it being different, like we never get told about this information. You only find it out when it's crunch time. I actually remembered that when we were driving into Zim, they told us that the borders were closed. Cool. And foreigners were not allowed. That's how I nearly didn't come to Zim. This is this was last year, November, my last boots on a trip. They're like, no, she's not Zimbabwean and the borders are closed, so only Zim people can cross over. Where was it written? Oh, who said it? 
thank God I had my marriage certificate then. So they, they're like, ah, okay, since you're married to Zimbabwe, you can't really be away from your husband, so you can cross over. And I'm thinking, thank you, Holy Spirit, because had I not thought of making a copy of the marriage certificate, I probably would have had had to go back by myself. Like, where do people... Wait, is it written on the news? Can I get the article? Something. Anywho. Later. Hi, baby. It's so dark. We're documenting our adventurous trip. How do you feel? Uh oh, it's not trying to see John. No, baby, you pressed it twice, no? Okay, that's the back one. This, this one, okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. Both of them. Ooh, skin is popping, honey. So, guys, this is our. <laughs> bedroom for that night <laughs> I'm not even laughing like I'm sleeping with the truck as well yep well, you really don't try to rob us or anything like that uh, hopefully not you'll yeah. switch off the light in a moment uh, this is my leg rest my husband and this is my blanket which is my scarf I'm about to watch some TV I downloaded <laughs> I downloaded I vlogs sleep. But baby, it's it's eleven and I will be sleeping in a car. I can't sleep all six hours. You can. Do they even know what happened? I sort of kind of filled them in, but not entirely. But guys, we're in the Botswana side of the border and the border is closed. Hence, we're sleeping here. And another thing is, we're supposed to get a booster shot, with my, which my husband doesn't want. Nope, I'm not getting no booster shot, bro. So, are you going to vaccinate, not vaccinate, what's that? Um, COVID test, PCR test, every time you come here. I think I'll just do it, honestly. It'll save me all the trouble. Especially I'd rather just get tested again, man. Because oh, I already got the two shots. And I'm not yeah, so you may as well go all the way. Yeah, you're not getting no booster shots. Right? No, honey, I think I will get it. It'll make life easier yeah. when I go to South Africa. Mm -hmm. No. Because I won't have to do a COVID test yeah, when I come back into Botswana. Oh, and just for traveling purposes in jail, we won't have to worry. <laughs> now you see, the border is closed. The people who do the booster shots are closed. Yeah, but it's been an adventure. But today was, <laughs> Bruh! It's crazy. First but of today, all... Today has been the first time I had to pack in 10 minutes. 10. And that's my bag. Yeah. I had to just throw everything in. Surprisingly, my husband took like five items. The last time I took five items, I had to survive two months with five items. So I was not doing that. And thank God we're driving so I could take my entire present. Packed in 10 minutes. Drove out. Um, now we're sleeping in a car. I've never slept in a car in my life. I mean, I always fall asleep during long drives, but not where I'm stopping and saying I'm here for the night. I know, me too. So, where are you sleeping? I'm sleeping in the back. You figure out yourself. Oh, because I'm tiny. You figure yourself out of it. I'm actually already comfortable like this, but now I need to pee. So I need to go pee outside where the truck guys will be looking at me through the window. They won't. You'll find a hidden spot. I know. We can't go far, baby. We just have to stay by the door. <laughs> <laughs> that time, the, the guys in the Zim border were saying that we should stay in the Zim border because the Botswana border is not safe. That time, the Zim border is dark. Uh, I think they were trying to set up. Set us up. <laughs> he was a set up. At least here there's light, there's trucks. There, there were no trucks, baby. And they told us that, first of all, they told us that 
our vaccination cards are not what registered. Are not registered. But yes, I was venting to the camera. I'm like, nobody told us that we have to register them. We don't even know what that is or where you do they're that. Like, if you want us to register them, you have to pay twenty dollars each. Twenty dollars gone. <laughs> that's literally a COVID test, basically. We're lucky that today, that's when the opening of borders has been officiated. Like before, it was just a talk on radio. That that's what I even open. said. I'm like, we heard the borders are open, and then the borders are not open, and now the borders are open. <sighs> yeah, Ruby, lot. I think this is a sign from the gods that we just need to relocate. Zim is just a big inconvenience. Mm. It's on extremes. Like, it's either good or bad. There's no... It's just okay. It's normal. What time is it? Eleven. Eleven, guys. It's time for me to sleep because the I'm the one driving in the morning. Opens at six o'clock. Eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's seven. Not bad. It's not bad. But that's the. That's almost. That's a little over the time we took to get here. If someone was to come from Arai right now, they'll get here. They'll find us here. Yeah. Baby, you know how comfortable my sheets are with those satin pillowcases, honey, after taking a hard shower. Ask me when I showered today. What time was that? It was at 8 a.m. Yeah. Hmm? Anyways, guys, I'll catch y'all in the morning. Let me position myself to sleep. Bye. Night. Um, night, light. Good morning from the people that slept at the border. We are finally out of the border, headed home now. And we both got vaccinated. Baby said that he didn't want to get a booster shot, but it's actually a requirement to enter Botswana. If you have been vaccinated before, you are going to get the booster. If you haven't been vaccinated altogether, they'll vaccinate you. So you can't enter Botswana with just a PCR. You need to have the vaccine. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad of a morning, but just being tired, sleeping in the car. I was not really sleeping because we had to look out if there were tortillas and stuff. But all in all, I feel like it was safe. Wasn't it safe, baby? It wasn't safe. <laughs> it wasn't safe. Not your girl being caught over speeding. Like, what? That's another expense. And the thing with Botswana is they don't play with those charges, boy. You can barely ever get a charge that's less than 100 years deep. I don't even see these speed trap people because, like, I'm driving on a two lane. Let me show you guys. I'm driving on a two lane, right? On this side. They are the other side. I don't even want to show you guys, but they're there in that shade. How did they even see me? <laughs> the charge is so wild, guys. It's so wild. So I'm waiting for the paper now. I probably have to pay it in Botswana at transport or something. Ciao. Okay. I just want to get home. Like, I really just want to get home, honestly.
Bye. But never to my sister. <laughs> See, she's even cooking what? for me. Don't you other people? No. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm here to close off the vlog or the video or whatever it is really. We made it to Botswana safe for all good. We're super tired. This is our only coming to close it off right now. But we traveled safely. We didn't have any other problems apart from sleeping at the border and everything I told you guys about. But other than that, we thank God for journey mercies and for good rest. Sure. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's been a long time since I uploaded, obviously because of traveling and stuff. But I'm going to see y'all on the next vlog. Shout out to you if you're a new subscriber. What it do, what it does if you're a returning subscriber. I love you guys so much. And I'm going to close this vlog and start another one. Don't forget to do things like share, comment, subscribe. Yonki into ya. I love you.